Mr. and Mrs. North, starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. on the rocks. Yeah. Wonder who he was. What do you care? We need a dead body, don't we? It was a lucky man who had the privilege of knowing Gus Henkel. A real sweet Joe. Of late, the boys and I haven't seen much of you, Gus. And that was our loss. But we didn't forget you. Not for a minute. And we never will. So long, Gus. Just left the guy. May I? Of course. Well? That's what you really can call frozen assets. Maybe, but we're in business. The papers say the cops can only wait for the money to show. Fine business. We got it, we ain't got it, and we can't spend it. I'm bossing the job. It took me three years to figure out how to lift a million bucks, and I can wait three more to spend it. Your share, you mean? My share, I mean. Now, look. Remember this date. April the 21st, three years from now. Not one of us is going to see another. We're scattering back to our hometowns. Live within the law, don't even get a traffic ticket. Then three years from now, come on back here, we'll dig up this Gus Henkel and start spending the money. Elbow to elbow with cops who have other jobs on their minds. Where's your hometown, Marty? I seem to forget. St. Paul. Jumbo? Yes, Marty? You're the watchdog. Get yourself a job here fishing or something. And keep your eyes open for a grave digger who might be thirsty for a million bucks. My, he certainly has a fine set of whiskers. And you say he was your great great grandpa? That's right, Mrs. North. I'm Nathaniel Seitz III. Mr. North asked me to stop by. Well, uh, won't you sit down? Thank you. My, it certainly is nice here. Thank you. Are you an author, Mr. Sykes? Oh, goodness, no. Well, are you from out of town? Yes, Spokane. Spokane, Washington. The state, that is. I'm Nathaniel Sykes III. Naturally, I'm related to Nathaniel Sykes I. He was a great patriot, Mrs. North. How nice. 
and an inveterate. Recently, I came across some of Nathaniel's old letters, quite by chance. Your husband expressed an interest in publishing them, Mrs. North. That's why I'm here. Oh, Pam! Pam, where are you? Pam? Oh, there you are. <laughs> Darling, I've got the publishing scoop of the year. Oh, how nice. And I have Nathaniel Sykes III. Mr. Sykes. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Say, I checked those documents you gave me. The best authorities in New York City, and they agree 100% they're authentic. Yes, of course. Oh. Nathaniel Sykes' will is the paper that really intrigued me. And me too, Mr. Dawes. Yeah. Darling, he has letters buried with him that, that are priceless. Who wrote them? Oh, just uh, George Washington, General Lafayette, Ben Franklin, you know, boys around town. And, Mr. Sykes, you can prove heritage. Well, that's already been done. But there is a slight amount of red tape and expense involved. Oh, don't you worry about that. That's my department. I'm going to publish a book that rewrites the history of the American Revolution. Oh, darling, there's no telling what we'll find in that grave. <laughs> I can imagine. into the sea. I wish you would. Careful what you say, brother. You're talking to real talent. My father was a crushing wave. What was your mother, a whack? Who furrowed deep the rocks of life and then stole silently back into the sea. Your father, huh? Hey, Dolly. Huh? Come here, come here. What do you want? Look. When we get finished, let's go someplace where we can talk. Talk? Oh, listen to the eager dish jockey. I mean your acting ability. You know, you've really got the stuff. What? You really think so? Sure. You know, listen, I got a part for you to play. Play it right and you'll make more money than Betty Grable. Huh? Yeah. What's your interest, miss? Painting scenery or fishing? We get both kinds of folks. Well, I'm looking for someone. Oh, ain't nobody around these parts I don't know. Oh, well, then maybe you know my father, Gus Henkel. Henkel? Henkel? Sounds like Henkel. Oh, it's just Henkel. No, I'm sorry, no. Oh, dear. And I have searched everywhere for Dad. Someone told me they had seen him here three or four years ago, living on the beach, alone and desolate. But I still hope to find him. <laughs> Just a jiffy. <laughs> Let me think. <laughs> oh, uh, good afternoon. Just We'd a, like to register, please. A Just a jiffy, son. <laughs> if you please, Miss Henkel, I know where I think you can find your father. Oh, wonderful. Where? Down the road of Spell in the cemetery. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, 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 no. be brave, no. Mr. Oh, no, no. What did you do with the coffee pot? Come on, come on in. With it, Tallulah, the show must go on. Yeah, but what I say? You're back at the hotel. The guy sitting behind the desk is doing the sheriffing. So you spill your story. Dad, dead? Now you got hysterics, see? So you turn on the tears. I'll never believe it. Never until I see it with my own eyes. Never, never, never. <laughs> now go ahead, Dolly. Try it. Um. Dad. 
Dad, Dad, I'll never believe it if Hold I... it, hold it, hold it. Don't say Dad, Dad. Dad, Dad? Put some air between them words, not try it, Dolly. Dad, Dad, I'll never believe it until I see it. Never, never, never. That's great, Dolly. Just like that. Now, don't ham it up too much. Now, you're back at the cemetery. The coffin's open. You're looking in it. Please, gentlemen, my father and I would like to be alone for a moment. Then you go to work. Load every one of them banknotes into these pockets that I rigged. Don't overlook a single one. Every one of them's got big numbers on them. The whole world will be talking about us. Just like the time they dug up that fella King Tut. Well, it's it's important to the country, Mr. Parks. We'll be on television. And the newsreels. Oh, I sure hope to see this town on the map. Now, uh, Mr. Parks, you will see that we have permission to remove the casket. You mean, take it away with you? Oh, yes. Understand, Mr. Parks. Those letters have been buried for a very long time. Now, any sudden exposure to the damp air might destroy them. So you see, the coffin will have to be opened in an airtight room. Oh, sure, sure, I see. Just as long as this town gets its share of glory. <laughs> ah, ah. Concord, Lexington, Plymouth. Those towns have been hogging the revolution. <laughs> Come on in. Dad, dead. Oh. oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you had company. Miss Hinkle? Mr. North, Mrs. North, Mr. Sykes, this is Miss Henkel. She just learned she's lost her father. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? Well, I, I can't think of anything. You were saying when you came in. Huh? Oh, oh, yes. Dad, dead. I won't believe it until I have seen it with my own eyes. Never, never, never. Oh, poor dear. Yes, living with a doubt. I know what you mean. You two fellas will have to wait your turn. I got to open another grave. Come on, Dolly, get going. Look, if you play your cards right, you can buy a whole perfume brewery. <laughs> I'm gonna buy Paris. And that ain't no bargain after what I've been through. Hey! Oh, yeah. Dad, dead. Jumbo, gee, kid, it's good to see you. You know, I got a plan. It's you and me in a door right down the middle. <laughs> you know, you'll die laughing when I tell you about it. Of course, uh, Dolly's in it just for a couple of bucks, though, but it's you and me in the door right down... I 
just can't understand it. It certainly wasn't my father. Sorry about the dull weekend, Pam. Oh, that's all right, Jerry. It's business, I understand. Besides, I've taken you to some pretty strange places. Yeah. Let's say I owe you a weekend. Huh? Okay, you owe me a weekend. <laughs> Miss it. Ah! 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 Look at Miss Hanko. Miss Hanko, Miss Hanko, it's Mr. and Mrs. North. Oh, the poor dear, she's hysterical. Try and stop her, Jerry. Mr. Pam, she got away. Jerry, I'm sure he's dead. <laughs> Marty, I just gotta talk to you. Stay clear of me. Do you wanna queer everything? But Marty, there's things you gotta know. Be one day. Now, just a few questions. Oh. I'll make it as easy as possible for you. You see, I'm the sheriff of this town. Now, that's why I want to talk to you in my office. Oh. Look, mister, must I stay here? Just a jiffy, mister. I've got an appointment with Miss Hankel. Hankel? Who's this Miss Hankel? Some Jane Rowdy imported to lift the dough. But it ain't been touched, Marty. That's what I got to talk to you about. There's been some changes. Jumbo! Come on in. Coming, Silas. Jumbo, you saw the murdered man? Oh, sure, Silas, when you showed him to me. Dead. Dad, dead? But you live right across the road from where his trailer was parked. Isn't it possible that you saw him alive? Well, not me. Me neither. Can't I go home now? Sorry, Miss Hankel. Oh. The poor dear. Mm, there's something mighty strange about that girl. She's lying through her teeth. Just like a man to suspect the only girl involved. That's the man I'm watching. Come in, mister. Look, I came here expecting to find peace and quiet. Being involved in a murder investigation is the last thing that I want. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> but a guy was murdered that we never saw around town before. And it stands to reason he came in on the same train with you. An old grudge, maybe? Maybe you just tailed him here. Look, I got off the train alone. You can ask the conductor. I drove to your town alone. You can ask the hack driver. Sure, sure. I'll do all of that. Can I go now? No. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Parks. I was looking for Mr. and Mrs. North. Mr. Sykes. Come right in. <laughs> Sykes! With all this hullabaloo about the murder, I forgot all about you folks. <laughs> what do you think, Mr. Noah? The truck and the men are here to remove the coffin to the city. Marty, Marty. Oh, that's fine, Mr. Sykes. Uh, you won't need us any longer, will you? Oh, just a couple of questions. Mr. and Mrs. North, 
You heard Miss Henkel scream and saw a rush from the trailer. Hmm. Oh. And you, Mr. North, you tried to catch her, but she got away. That's right. Well, why shouldn't a girl run after all I've been through and then finding a real live dead man? That's a perfectly logical explanation. Yes. Can I go now? No! <laughs> I won't need you folks anymore. I hope you find something valuable in the coffin. I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. <laughs> now, don't forget, Mrs. North, Nathaniel Sykes was born, raised, and buried right here for over 150 years. So give this town credit. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. We'll keep in touch with you. Come on, Pam. Mr. Sykes? Oh, Jerry, my purse. Come on, Pam, hurry up, will you? Jerry, I I'd rather stay here. Oh, that's all right, dear, I understand. It won't be much fun. <laughs> but pack the bags and get them in the car, and I'll ride back from the cemetery on the truck, and then we'll be on our way. Jumbo? Uh, yes? Did you ever see Miss Henkel before? Once or twice, going in and out of the trailer. And this man, I never saw him before. Did you ever see Miss Hankel at Jumbo before? Never. There's something screwy here, and we're not going to leave till I get the bottom of it. Oh, Mr. Park. Yes, Miss North. Mr. Parks, come here. And his clothes positively reek of perfume. It's very expensive, and it's sold to get you a man. There's a whole bottle of it spilled in the trailer, and that certainly incriminates Mr. Jumbo. Now listen, you. I can prove that Rowdy never left that trailer, so keep your trap shut. You, mister, step outside. Sorry, mister, but you're free to go. Hope I haven't given the town a bad name. Enjoy your visit. Oh, I wouldn't have missed it for a million. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, Miss Henkel. Now, don't think bad of us folks. Huh? Come back and see us again sometime. Oh. Goodbye, Miss Henkel. I'm sorry you have to leave without a cent. Oh, brother. Now to put the cuffs on Jumbo. I sure want to thank you, Mrs. North, for helping me break the case. Come on. Well, now, the honor and privilege of unsealing the coffin belongs to Nathaniel Sykes III. <laughs> uh, Mr. North, wouldn't you like to... No, you go ahead, Mr. Sykes. Thank you. Pam, what a moment. Uh, okay, I'm back to owing you a weekend. Two of them. All right, two of them, and you pick the spots. Mm -hmm. What? What happened? What is this? It's money. It's money. But Jerry, what is it? What happened? It's a million dollars. This is the money, the bone from this very vault. The serial numbers check. Call the police. Oh, Jerry, what a surprise. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, but what about those letters from George Washington and, and Lafayette and Franklin? Darling, if you want some old letters, I'll dig up some of your old love letters you wrote to me before we were married. Uh, yeah, I guess they did make history at that, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. North is directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A Dear Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilms. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning featuring Francis DeSale. This has been a film presentation.